just fast forwarded it fast forwarded it just fast forwarded two months it's now august um i've been away working because i failed to get the bike finished just before i had to go away to work in andorra um, so I've come back, taken a break from the guiding. I've got some other stuff I need to do. And one of the things I need to do is get the explosive finished. So uh, I've just been having a look around and I need something which I haven't got, uh, which is a bit of an odd one. Uh, it's one of these old style gear cables. Yeah, that's a bit of a weird one, that one actually. It's um, not what you would normally get. Um, and it used to be, uh, you could buy universal gear cables that had uh, both ends on them. These days you only get one end, which isn't that one. Um, so I'm going to take a poodle to the bike shop uh, on the other bike and uh, see whether I can find what I need. So, um, yeah, I'm going to take a trip on the little beastie. <laughs> After a spin down to the bike shop, unfortunately, that gear cable is impossible to get hold of. Um, so I've just been searching around on uh, Amazon and eBay and I found a very old pack of cables, which looks like it might do the job, so I've ordered those. Hopefully that will all arrive uh, over the weekend so I can get this bloody thing finished because it's really annoying that, quite frankly, I've had this thing out here for flipping ages um, and I haven't been able to finish it just because I need some gear cables. So let's get the flipping thing done and uh, get it built and on the road. So fast forward a couple of days, um, and very frustratingly, I managed to get hold of the cables, I think, I found something that should do the job, and then I realized that all of my tools are in Andorra. So I've had to order some cable cutters on Amazon Prime, so hopefully they'll come later today. But in the meantime, I've stumbled across another problem, which is that the headset is actually loose. And uh, I think this is related to a problem I had back on my original explosive back in 1990. Uh, which is that basically the the head tubes on them stretched a little bit. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've made a shim um, out of a piece of uh, uh, drinks tin um, and hopefully that should be slim enough to uh, to do the job to shim it out because it's not really going to get a huge amount of use. When I had this problem originally actually what happened was there was some um, sort of fiberglass bonded into the head tube um, by Kona um, which sorted out the problem. So literally all I've done is I've uh, cut a strip of aluminium out of this drinks tin, which as you can see, it's very, very thin. Um, it doesn't need to be super tidy. The bit I've cut actually, I have tidied up. It's not as ragged as the top of this tin is. And uh, yeah, then we're gonna have to take that cup out uh, and hopefully we can squeeze it into the, uh, the head tube along with the cup, um, press it all back in again. And with a bit of luck, it will do the job. So a bit like a bad 80s movie, I'm now going to apologise to you for being gone for so long and you're going to say, well hang on, nothing's changed, I didn't hear a minute ago. So uh, it's now the middle of October, which means actually I've been building this bike behind me for the last, well it's nine months since I bought it and uh, it's uh, six months since I started this video, seven months since I started this video. Um, tried to get it done when I came back in the middle of the summer for a break and it just didn't happen. So here we go, we've got the last couple of bits to finish off and hopefully at last this bike will then be fully functional and ready to roll to take to some kind of nice uh, retro bike uh, get together hopefully. Ah, the forgotten delights of setting up uh, cable operated rim brakes. Yep. Technology has moved on and these things are a nightmare. Pardon my French. Um, 
just taken me ages just to set those brakes up. I reckon I could set up a set of discs and bleed them quicker than I could get these set up. And quite frankly, I'm still not happy with how they're set up. So there's something still not quite right with that bad brake in particular. Um, I seem to remember this from back in the day as well. I seem to remember that the rear brake on this bike just did not want to be set up properly. Um, so it's this self-energizing brake that I introduced you to earlier on. Um, and what I always used to find with it, and I'm finding <laughs> exactly the same thing here, um, is that it seems to me that the, the rear brake mounts are a little bit too far uh, sort of uh, below and inboard for the rim. Um, so you have to adjust the brake block. <laughs> for those of you who are new to these things, you have a, you have a, <laughs> with, the, with, a with a rim brake, you have a, uh, a body which sits on a shaft mounted onto the frame here. Um, I know it might sound stupid for those of you that know what these are, but there's a lot of people these days who have never actually ridden with anything apart from disc brakes. Um, so basically you then have your, uh, your brake pad clamped into the, the body of the, of the brake itself. Now, what I always found with this, and I'm finding with this as well, is that no matter how I adjust this, it just does not sit in the right place uh, against the rim, it sits up way, way too high. Um, and uh, if I adjust the, the actual brakes themselves so that they're closer inboard, then uh, the brake just slides off the bottom of the rim or hits the tire. Um, if I set it up as it is now, it sort of hits okay at the top of its, of its movement. But if you look at it from underneath, you can see that actually that's sitting quite a long way out off the rim at the bottom, so it's gonna wear horribly unevenly, but quite frankly, it ain't gonna get a lot of riding done on it anyway. So I've uh, decided that enough is enough. I need to just get on and do something else. So anyway, one of the nice things I have managed to pick up on this is I've got the original Suntour cables on here. Um, so we've, we're running uh, original Suntour brake cables. Couldn't get the gear cables, so I'm gonna use some generic pack stuff so that it doesn't stand out. I don't wanna be using Shimano or anything horrible like that, obviously. Um, so yeah, next thing to do, set up the, uh, the gear cables. And um, that means that we are oh, pretty much there at that point I think there's one or two little things I need to change um, I've realized that the seat post is possibly 0.2 out um, but it's only a cheap one anyway so I'll probably order myself another seat post I've got a few little things like uh, these uh, these bolts need replacing They've, they're a bit rusted inside so I'd like it to be really spick and span so uh, there'll be a few little odds and sods here and there but yep brakes are on let's do the gears hopefully they'll be a bit easier than the brakes were Good morning guys, it's a very strange morning. It's also a very cold morning, which is why I'm wearing a hat. Um, so basically, I am basically finished.